Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. We've been discussing this week things that I wish they would tell everybody in pre-license class, right? I bet you have your list. I Send it to me. I'd love to see it. Um, you know, we've talked about a whole bunch of points this week of what I wish they would tell people trying to get their real estate license. So that they had more realistic expectations getting into the business because some of us bought into a vision, like a selling sunset vision of what real estate is going to be. And then it turns out to be nothing like that, right? And it's, we just didn't have appropriate expectations when we got into the business. Uh, for today, one of my points is I wish they would tell people in pre-license that you're going to need to run your real estate business like a business. Run your business like a business. What do I mean by that? I mean, so many people think that they can have high income expectations and run their real estate business like part time, like on the side, a little side gig. Uh, maybe not even that much, maybe not even part time, maybe like a little hobby on the side. And I can just do this. I can stir the drink with absent mindedly with one hand and still, on the other hand, have very high income expectations. And I think that way too many of us, maybe me, got into the business thinking that, yeah, it wasn't going to really be that hard. It wasn't really going to, I'm going to have a very flexible schedule and I can still make a lot of money. And then we get in, we find out that's just not true. I mean, you can do really well in this business, but you're probably going to have to be very committed work very hard. It's going to take as much or more hours as that real job you were trying to get away from, right? Uh, so I wish they would just tell people, look, folks, once you pass the state test, you're going to need to be prepared to run your business like a business. Get up, get dressed, go to work, work hard all day, go home, rinse and repeat. Oh, I was hoping real estate wasn't going to be that. Nope, sorry. Hate to rain on the parade. Uh, next on my list here is, is really a pretty important one. I have to remind myself still every year, hey, that we're going to have to continually have to invest in ourselves. You know, I would say it to you like this, like investing in yourself is the best investment you're ever going to make. I mean, before you invest in the stock market, which to me is like a rigged casino game, or you invest in other people, well, don't do that if you haven't invested in yourself first. And by that means, I mean uh, constantly seeking new and innovative ideas in ways to run your business because the world keeps changing. And I know we don't want it to. I know we want everything to stay the same, but it doesn't, right? Great agents thrive in all markets. They do. It's a truism. Why? They adapt and they change. I mean, maybe they like it, maybe they don't, but great agents adapt and change with the times, with the market conditions, with the tools that become available to them. Uh, AI would be a very good example of this these days. You can have whatever opinion of it you want. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. Uh, the fact is that AI is probably not going to take your job, but another agent that's using AI effectively in their business might. Right. The tool itself is not going to replace you, but another agent that's willing to learn how to adapt and use the tool while you are not, they might replace you. Hmm. I wish we would tell people that in pre-license class that once you pass the state test, your job's just beginning. You're going to have to continually invest in yourself all the time. It's the best investment you're ever going to make. I hope you'll jump on here with me tomorrow because I have one final point, and it's a big one, and it's the most important. And if you'll join me tomorrow, I'll jump into it with you. But for today, let's get out there. Now let's go make it happen for ourselves today.